Hi, in this video we will look at the basics of loop cuts and extrusion. So let's go ahead and create a cube by pressing Shift A and then Cube. Okay, now let's go into edit mode by pressing Tab. Loop cuts help to create loops around our 3D objects so that we have more detail to work with. So to create a loop cut, you simply press Ctrl R and then you'll see a purple outline when you hover over your 3D object. Um, you can either create a loop horizontally or vertically. You just have to sort of hover your mouse in the right area. So I'm just going to create one horizontally. So just left click and then you'll see the outline of your to your uh, new loop. Then move it where you want to add the loop. So I'm just going to add it there, let's say. Then I'm gonna let's just say we want to add um, three more loops. So I'm going to press Ctrl R. Then I can scroll up and down to add more loops. So here I want to add three loops. And then I want to move it up here as well. Now, I want to move these two loops up as well. Um, it would be tedious if I were to select one loop, one at a time, and then move them up by pressing Grab Z, and then go into here, and then do the same for this side, and sort of hope that it lines up. That is not, that is not ideal. I want to select the entire loop. So to do that, hover the mouse over the loop that you want to select, then press the ALT key and then right click. That will select your entire loop. Now you can press grab Z to move your loop closer to the original loop. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this as well. ALT, right click, grab Z. Alright, so that looks good. I can go ahead and create a loop cut here as well. Let's just say uh, two loop cuts over here would be good. Um, Alt right click to select this one. You can also press G G twice. So I can I can either press Grab X, but in some cases if your object is rotated around, Grab X might not work. I don't have to always look at the axis and press Grab X. I can simply just press G G. So press G twice, and that will uh, obviously uh, allow you to scroll your loop uh, from the first loop to the second loop. So I'm just going to place it somewhere here and then left click, hold right click, GG and let's move it somewhere around let's say here. Hold right click, GG. That's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of loop cuts. Next, extrusion. Extrusion is sort of like forcing out a surface on an already existing surface. So you can build form and volume on an existing 3D model. I'm going to go ahead and change to the face select mode. So these are now my faces. And I want to select some faces to extrude out. All right. So to extrude, all you have to do is press the E key and then move your mouse out to actually extrude. And there you go. You pretty much created a new surface, a new form of your 3D object extra volume of your 3D object. So we can keep extruding out. So I can keep saying E again. I can select this face and go E again. And as you can see, we create new volume. I can select this face and go E, this face E, and create, you know, interesting, interesting shapes. E, E, and this is basically how extrusion works. And this is also the, the basic building blocks of how buildings are created architecture. So E, E, and I'm not really doing anything other than pressing E and just moving my mouse. I don't, I don't know what I'm creating by the way, it looks like I'm creating some type of robot. But uh, you know, I can also go ahead and add loop cuts on the newly extruded vertices, uh, which obviously changed to edge select mode by default. I want to change it back to face select and then maybe create a new loop here and then maybe alt right click this one gg alt right click this one gg and let's go to face select and yeah I'm just I'm obviously going a little bit overboard with this but you can see how using a combination of loop cuts and extrusion can help you to build form of your 3D model and obviously help you to create awesome 3D models. Loop cuts and extrusion can be used not only to make your architectural modeling a lot easier, but can be used for other things like character modeling and organic models as well. I guess for now, 
I recommend that you play around with loop cuts and extrusion. Remember, loop cuts is Control R, then scroll up and down to control the number of loop cuts, and extrusion is simply E. And um, you know, a lot of those modeling tutorials on YouTube will use extrusion and loop cuts a lot. So I recommend you get comfortable with loop cuts and extrusion. Oh, just a quick uh, modeling note. Um, apart from just doing loop cuts and extrusion, you can also do subdivision to add more detail to your objects. So to do so, you can select two vertices and then press W and then subdivide. So when you do that, you'll notice an extra vertice is here for you to play with. So that is one handy way to create more detail for your objects. Um, if I just go back and do that again, if I just undo that again by pressing Control Z, let's select all the vertices by pressing A. Then press W, subdivide. Now you can see that the model has now added far more vertices for us to play with. In other words, we have a lot more detail on our 3D object. This can be good for creating finer details on your 3D object. So detailed characters, detailed buildings, and um, obviously you can create more high poly models just by using subdivision a lot. Another way of using subdivision is going into the subdivision surface panel in the modifiers tab. But the modifiers tab will smooth out your model as well. So keep that in consideration as well. But uh, it is not really a modeling technique. It is just a non-destructive way to add detail. It does the same thing. Like if I press this one, you can see the extra little vertices that have been added. The one highlighted in black is our vertices. But these little bends that you can see here are the extra little edges that have been added by the subdivision surface. And it's non-destructive in the sense that if I remove it, it goes back to normal. That is basically how you do subdivision in the edit mode. I hope this video has been useful to you and keep blending.